Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a video to make that I'm very sorry I missed. Uh, well, I haven't been able to find the comment to do the video. Okay, we've got a sister in Christ named Sarah Reyes. I think that's how you would say it. R-E-Y-E-S. Okay. I found it under a video. Let's see, this video I made on February 11th. It was the one about would you like to earn some money back when you shop? And I don't imagine a whole lot of people watched it. Let's see, it says um, 86 views. Well, that's that's a few. And seven thumbs up. It is a good idea to help get a little a little bit back when you shop. If you want, don't mind doing a little bit of work. You know, um, anyway, if this is not about that. Sarah left a comment, and she said, Hello, Jeannie. You look just like my mother. I need to ask you for a favor. I am about to become homeless with nowhere to go. But someone gave me the bare bones of a tiny home on wheels. Wasn't that a blessing? But here's the thing of it. Listen. Can you please ask around if anyone has enough space on their property or land where I can park it in these hard times? that I am going through until I can move elsewhere. Thank you for your kindness always. Okay. Now, she she doesn't just need a place to stick it. <laughs> okay, she'd like to stay in the warmer weather. She goes on to say later, she said, um... If you can just mention that I'm in need because I have nowhere to go, it might help. I'm down in Florida where I've suffered a lot of abuse and I'm looking to relocate to another warm state. Alabama would be fine as long as there's transportation in the area there is in Jefferson County and I'm sure other counties Sarah that just came to me when I was living in Inverness they thought I was outside the county and they would go are you in Jefferson County because <laughs> like, if it was outside Jefferson County they weren't going to come pick me up so you got to check ahead of time because some areas it's just too rural and they won't come pick you up all the way out there. So I would suggest if anyone can help this lady, she needs also someone with a big truck that can pull it to the land that you'd be willing to let her park her little mini house on and possibly help her to finish it or find uh, maybe a church. There are some churches that do things like that, especially if you join. Um, it's usually how it goes. I never did get any help moving. They never answered my email. I should have called them. That was my fault. I, you know... It's real easy to ignore an email from someone that doesn't tithe anymore. Yeah, I'm still a member, but I don't tithe, so um, I never heard back. Anyway, um, there are churches that do help. I remember when we were the members of another church, we were part of a... My husband knew all about house reconstruction, so... 
he took on the drywall and we had a Saturday where there were all kind of ladies bringing the food and all the men that had tools brought their tools and see this woman who had 10 children and a, the baby was just a baby and her husband just dropped dead. So he would buy them a home and this house was not big enough for 10 kids, believe me, but he would flip them. He would fix them up, sell them, do another one, and that's how he made his living. Can you imagine packing up all those babies? I mean, because they were like close together. The youngest, the oldest one was like 18, I think. <laughs> that's, that's like how my mom did it. But anyway, point is, our church got together and we fixed that house up so she could sell it. One of them actually bought it, I think, one of the workers. Anyway, point is, there are people out there who are kind enough and have the time and the resources that can do this. You might not can, but you might know somebody who could. So it's worth putting up a video for. Think about it. You got an uncle in Alabama or northern Florida away from the water. That's my suggestion. Uh, Georgia even, southern Georgia, southeastern Georgia. <laughs> Still pretty warm in Georgia. Um, Mississippi, um, near the big, um, the bigger cities. Anyway, just think about who you know, and maybe we can come up with somewhere. I don't know anybody. I, I actually thought of the same plan <laughs> to try to find, think of somebody that had some land that would let me park a camper on it, but I don't know anybody, so... But I can make a video. So here you go, Sarah. And I hope that we get some responses. And y'all can exchange emails. And go from there. Okay? I'm pleading the blood of Jesus over this request. And this video. And over my computer. And myself. And over each and every one of you. And your devices and your internet connections and I pray that the Lord will provide you with a place to live but even more so that you and all the rest of us would be ready and counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass when Jesus comes for his bride with that I'll say Bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Let me pull that up and click it off. Bye for now.